Hey y'all, Rhonda here. I'm back. I am back from Creativations 2024 and wow, was it a whirlwind. I mean, you know, the anticip ant anticipation, <laughs> the anticipation leading up to it and then going and trying to savor every moment. Anyway, it was just incredible. So there's going to be lots of stories, uh, lots of show and tell. I have lots to show you. Um, so grab you a cup of tea, Coca-Cola, cup of coffee, whatever you want. And if you don't like show and tell and if you don't like all my wobbling, then hit the next button. But here we go. Well, first of all, I have to say thank you, thank you, thank you to Miss Erin Reed of Erin Reed Makes. And I'm going to have um, all kinds of links and information below because I met some incredible people that you guys need to know about. And um, and if you watched my show, my my video before this one, uh, I, I had a whole different idea of what I was going to do and then I started it and it ended up something totally different. So it was just a real personal, you know, experience from me and all the good stuff, all the interviews, all the creativation, everything you want to know, everything you want to see, go to Erin Reed Makes and I will link her below because that's where everything is. Um, I did very little filming for me because I was there for Erin. So I'm hoping she got lots of good footage. I'm hoping that, you know, I just hope, hope, hope. <laughs> so anyway, go to Erin Reed, Erin Reed Makes, and watch all her stuff. You can see all the new stuff firsthand. Um, I'll be sharing a little bit here, but anyway, that's where it's all at. Okay, uh, let's just dive in. All right, well, uh, and I'm going to be skipping all over because if you know me, I'm not really good on chronological order. I kind of started in the beginning and then I go to the end and then I jump to the middle and then I go over here and all that so hang with me <laughs> all right so I what I have on top I'm gonna grab here is one of the evenings they had the 45 and younger and the 45 and older okay 45 and younger got to go to axe throwing and they had food and this and that the 45 and older which was me is me I got to go to a whiskey tasting event the only thing, I, Creativations was actually wonderful, but one of the little boob ups that they made was we went to go taste whiskey and they had no food for us. We had a few little niblets, but that was it. So we had Creativation all day and then we pretty much ran back to the hotel and, you know, if you needed to change or freshen up or whatever. And then we ran across the street to a um, beautiful, beautiful place and we were entertained and um, learned lots of information on how whiskey is made and the different areas and just really cool stuff, but there was no food. So I was starving to death afterwards, let's just say. But anyway, okay. So Aaron went to, and I'm gonna be speaking a lot about Aaron because that's who I was with and that's who I was there for. Aaron went to the 45 and younger, so she did the ax throwing. Had a fabulous time, we both did. So while she was there, she brought me back. Let me get this open. Mr. Bob Ross. Yes, he's still alive and well. Well, sort of. Anyway, so I got a t-shirt. Isn't that cool? I mean, who doesn't love Bob Ross? You know, with his happy clouds and his tall trees and no mistakes. So anyway, so that was a little shirt that I got. All right, let me see. Okay, so when I first got there, uh, Aaron hadn't made it yet. And because I got there pretty early. And so one of my other roommates was there and there was a couple of other girls that she knew. So we all took off and we went walking around New Orleans downtown, or I guess Bourbon Street. And uh, I mean, all that area. And so we went to the world's or the, I guess the world, no, not the world's, I guess the oldest market in the North America. Um, yeah, the oldest open air market. It used to be an Indian trading post, that area. Super cool. I mean, there was all kinds of vendors, um, neat handmade stuff. And then there was some, you know, chintzy stuff there, but you know, it takes all kinds. And then food. Oh my gosh. I had a shrimp po' boy and it was so good. And um, best part about it was the company. Uh, so Cassie, my roommate, which she is fantastic. If you love mixed media, um, that's your girl. So like I said, I'm going to link all this below. Um, and then Sarah and Ellie Mae, and they are f fantastic creators. So all the people that I were with, you know, real close here are, um, what are they, creative content, uh, what are they called, um, uh, influencers, creative influencers, something. I should know all this lingo, but I'm still learning. 
anyway, so these are all fantastic people. They're the legit ones. <laughs> so anyway, you need to go check them out. So anyway, so we go eat, we walk and everything. And so as we're walking, I smell something wonderful. And it was leather. Yes, leather. So is this not beautiful? And you know, you know me, I had to get the peacock. They had another one, but it, a different peacock, but it wasn't near as pretty. But look at this. I mean, this is scrump shust. So this is just perfect for um, like your cell phone or just a little bit of whatever. And isn't that beautiful? And oh my goodness, it smells so good. So all handmade. And then they had tons of different size, you know, wallets and purses and everything. They had 3D. Some of them that had alligators on the front or skulls or koalas or whatever, you name it. And they were wild. But I had to get this one. And then <sighs> this is a little coin purse. Leather. I mean, leather. Is this not super cute? Well, you know, my daughter's on the chicken judging team. And chickens are just cool. And so I had to get it just because it makes me smile, you know. So anyway, that was like the first day and we walked and we saw so many fantastic things. The architecture and the people and oh, I'm just, I know I'm going to be repeating myself because it was it's just so super cool. All right. I don't know where to begin. Um, okay. Let me just grab this and I'll just start unpacking. I kind of went through things. Um, this was a bag that, um, for my suitcase stuff and it just fits a lot of stuff. And I got a big bag down below. Well, let me just open this and I will start. And I can't remember the company names of all this, but I will list a whole bunch. Um, you'll see Aaron's videos and you'll, you'll see those. If you have any questions, ask me though, and I, I will get details for you. This was a diamond dots. Is this diamond dot? There was two diamond dot companies. One was diamond dots and one was dots. Anyway, that was so super cool. I'm going to be ordering. Um, and what I liked was the diamond dots and I'm, I'm using that term loosely. I'm encompassing all of the dot things, uh, together, but this company showed, look, this is just a little sticker, a little heart that you can, that you can do. So here's your little diamond dots. And you have some little thingy bobbers there. You have your little tool. You have your sticky do. I don't know what that is. I'll figure all that out. But anyway, super cool. But anyway, so this one, I think it's called Dots. And I'll make sure I figure out which, which one it is. Anyway, so they had really cool pictures um, of any subject you could ever imagine. But it wasn't fully covered in the Diamond Dot stuff. So it, like one of them was, it was a good size. It had pictures of kitty cats, you know, really cool kitty cats. Excuse me. And only certain ones were bedazzled. And I'm like, that's super cool. I'm loving that. And I think I have pictures of a lot of this stuff and I'll, I'll insert when I can. But um, anyway, I like that. And then they encourage you to diamond dots, whatever you wanted, you know, like if you had say something like this and you want to bedazzle just you know these areas and not the whole thing um I mean they were doing shoes and coats and um beer bottles or you know like soda bottles that had really cool um um labels on them I mean it was just oh oh my gosh I mean it that got me interested in the diamond dot things so anyway this little sample and you'll see all kinds of stuff like this um anyway this was really cool and I'm going to lose all that. Okay, so this was, I'll have to insert a, because does it say, this was a Japanese company. And some of this stuff I haven't even really got to look at totally. So this was super cool. I mean, love the bag, because you know I love bags. So here is um, origami paper. I mean, that's a chunk. So we love that. And then uh, gel pens. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know we got all of these. It's another card. Oh, here we go. Yasumoto. This was super cool. So here's their card. Very cool. Anyway, so Yasumoto. So they have um, all kinds. I mean, they have paint brushes, and I use that loosely because, or it's, you know, it's the Japanese brushes, and inks, and origami paper, and paints, and just incredible stuff. Um, so anyway, and gel pens. 
So you know how I am about pens. And then, what is this? Detail Master Pigment Liner. Ooh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, you know, you know. Let me see here. Let me see if I have any paper in the back of this. This was a little notebook that Cassie made for me. That was one of my roommates. No, I don't want to mark in that one. I'll show you that later. I have something right here. So this is a little planner book that I took with me to take notes and all of that. So let's just find a page because I have to check this out. Yes. Oh, very nice. Very nice. You know, I love my pens. All right. And then here's a little origami. <laughs> Is that not cute? Oh my goodness. All right. This may be a long video. I'm sorry, but. Oh, and little candies. Japanese candy. Anyway, I, you know, I say this over and over again. The crafting community is so giving and so nice. I just can't express. Stencil One. You're going to hear me talk about Stencil One a lot. Um, Ed Roth is, whoops, what was that, kitty? Um, Ed Roth, the owner of Stencil One, designer, owner, extraordinaire, um, and like I said, I'm linking all this below. Oh my gosh. Stencils that I've never seen before. Um, stencils, and I have some coming, that at Halloween, for dress up, for drama, you know, um, theater, whatever, he has these stencils that you can use to paint your face. Um, I'm just going to have to insert a picture to show you. Um, they're rounded, they're oval, so they don't poke you. Um, you can use them in different directions. Anyway, they're just phenomenal. You'll have to check them out. So anyway, these are, this is just some um, little pins from Ed. Love, love, love. And then I have a Ranger book. This is what this is. Oh, soft, silky feeling. Oh, so just a little journal book. Oh, we love that. I love my books. And then a little holder for your pen. And it even comes with a pen. Oh, this is another little fine line. We're going to try this one out quickly. Very nice. It's very similar to that one. Or the other one, I should say. And it says Ranger. All right. Here. What am I going to do again? <laughs> All right. You know, my, my dilemma of when I do my hauls and everything. All right. There's another little baggie. And this is from... Let's see if there's a card in here. There should be. This is from... Jelly Roll. So this is Secura. Secura? Secura. I think I'm saying that right. So a little, oh my goodness. Welcome to Secura Friends. Welcome Secura Friends. Oh my goodness. Oh, how fun is this? Oh, this is brilliant. Oh my goodness. And then the Jelly Roll, the UV Jelly Roll Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And then the new Jelly Roll Retractable. I have these things coming. Um, I'm hoping in the next day or two. And then we have, what is this? Another little sticker, Jelly Roll. And then some samples. So this is coloring brush pen, water-based, ink, students, graphic artists, designers, illustrations, architects, cartoonist, made in Japan. And then this is Jelly Roll. This is, oh, this is the oh, this is the clicky. This is the new one. Oh my goodness! And then of course the ones that we love, the Micron. Looks like we have a red, and then there's an 80 and a PN archival ink. Oh my gosh! See, I'm having a chance to sit down and play with this stuff because um, I landed. Thursday night in Springfield, so it's about an hour drive home, and then we picked up AJ from school, which was like 
five thirty in the evening, and we went out to dinner, and then home. So it was you know seven o'clock before we got home. I had to try to chill out just a little bit so I could sleep, and then I went to work Friday and Saturday, and now it's Sunday. Yeah, it's Easter, and we just kind of did a bunch of nothing. Um, AJ, I helped a teeny tiny bit, but she made a um, Easter egg basket out of cookies and candies and stuff and we just fixed dinner and just hung out so and I have to go to work tomorrow so yeah I didn't have I'm not having a chance to decompress or anything so this was from a Sizzix party that I went to it was a special invite and so there's little gummies that are fish there's a lobster and a shark <gasps> oh my gosh how cute so fun little stuff. And then Uniquely Creative, uh, Aaron did some demoing with them. Fantastic company. We carry a few of their items in the store and hopefully we'll carry some more. Fantastic company out of Australia. So we've got some jelly beans and, and then there's a little thank you for stopping by. There's a stencil. Love them. They have fantastic products and the best people ever. And then this was a little make and take that they were doing. And since I was filming, and uh, helping Erin out, I didn't get to. She was demoing, and this was one of the things that they were doing. And so she grabbed me one of these. So I can do that later. And then I got another one of these little baggies there. Really cool company. It's called Slice. Um, it's a safety cutter. This is like a little box blade, but all their stuff is safety first. They had a, um, what do you call it? Um, one of these, an X-Acto knife, and you could actually touch the end of it. I mean, this one you can't. This is so stinking sharp, I'd slice the end of my finger off. And of course, I keep the lid on it when I'm not using it. But with theirs, you can actually touch your finger. I mean, you know, if the lid's not on there and you pick it up, it's not going to hurt you. So when you press and then cut, you know, pull, somehow it releases that blade and it's super cool. Anyway, they had all kinds of stuff. So I need to check them out because I certainly am. Put that back over there. So this was a little thing they were giving away. Um, safety cutter with slice, ceramic blades. And so it shows you how to, how to do it. So we're going to try that out. And then lots of the companies had um, little giveaways and people that I would meet that have stores and that um, are influencers. Um, anyway, people had all kinds of things to give away. I had pins and um, I'll be showing you those and sharing some with you. So this is a Lollipalooza Paper Craft. This is a craft educator, a creative, creative professional, CP. That's what I was trying to think of. That's what Erin is. So um, anyway, and I'll link her information below too. Or there's that. You could pause and scan it. So everybody has their QR code. So maybe I need to get one of those things, huh? Um, oh my gosh. You guys know I love zebra pens. Love, love, love zebra pins. And the zebra, I mean, the zebra was there. And they have all kinds of really cool stuff. You need to go watch Erin's video to see the new stuff, the new stuff that's coming out. And this is a sample of some of their pins. Oh, my goodness. See, I haven't had a chance to play with these. Can you believe that? New pins, and I haven't. It's like an unopened box for me. Ooh. All right, and then... Um, pins, all kinds of good stuff that I got from Erin, um, that, um, sh um, oh, what's the brand? What's the brand? Come here. They make, uh, oh, Marvi Yoshida. Um, and they have all kinds of pins anyway. So the ones that they use at the show that they're demoing with and stuff, they give those away and they gave Erin a bunch because she shares them with, um, the schools. Uh, the art departments and stuff. And so he gave her a bag full of stuff. So I, I got to pick out a few. And I will be playing with those like uh, like a kid in a candy store, let me tell you. All right. Oh, hello. This was a cool hat. Is that not cool? What do you call them? Bucket hats? Um, from a company, and I will insert a picture. Um, they are collapsible paintbrush holders, cleaners, all that stuff. Really a cool idea. It collapses into nothing and it's on the go. And um, it's really good for your brushes. You know, when you rinse out a brush and you're done with it, it's not good to lay it on its side. 
um, or leave it in the water because that water goes up into the wood and it messes it up and you know over time you know so around this has little notches where you can actually hang your brushes upside down and let that water let gravity pull that water out so your brushes will last longer so that was one of the things they were giving away and then <laughs> of course mardi gras beads Aaron, we, there was actually there at creativations was a huge i mean huge um mardi gras float and so we got to go up on it Aaron got to go up on it i was filming and so she threw beads at me and i caught all three so, of course, we were wearing beads because it's New Orleans. Let's see here. Oh, and then uh, the Ranger Distressed pins, the collector pins. So I got several of those. And then this was, oh, Ecstasy Crafts. So this was their little pin because it's a big thing to, um, yeah, trade pins. <laughs> there we go. So Ecstasy, Ecstasy, Ecstasy Crafts. Oh, my goodness. Um, and you can buy all kinds of stuff from them. Uh, they have a lot of UK um, um, companies that you can't buy anywhere else. So actually, Ecstasy Crafts, check them out. Um, Barely Art Glue, which is phenomenal. Love those guys. Oh my goodness. Uh, great, great, gr great glue. If I can get my words out, I'm getting all excited. So little candies. I mean, <coughs> excuse me. I mean, I haven't even got a chance to try those yet either. Um, let's see. And then, what else? Oh, this is, this is Christie's Company. So this is Society of Wild, Wildflowers. I'm having a really hard time. It's late, but I'm so excited to kind of do this. Christie, um, this is a retreat that she's having that she's going to have all kinds of wonderful teachers there, um, instructors, it's a wellness, it's a creative, it's art, it's all kinds of things. Anyway, she is a, um, what do I call them? A uh, craft professional, a, um, <laughs> yeah, one of those influencers. But she has a party planning company. She's in Laguna, Laguna Beach in California. Uh, she works with all kinds of companies. You can see here, Deco Art, Little Birdie, Sizzix, uh, Notions Marketing, all kinds of stuff. Anyway, she is a hoot and she is a beautiful, beautiful person. You'll see a lot of pictures with um, her and I together um, in my last video. Beautiful blonde um, woman that she's just, she's extraordinary. Anyway, link her stuff below. Um, Erin gave me, this is the Crafter's Workshop. What do we have in here? What is this? Mardi Gras. There's a little sticker. I think this is um, it's backwards. Maybe one of those sublimation ones. Oh, there's a lot of that stuff going on there. Um, so we have some stencil butter. Love this stuff. I mean, look at that. I mean, you talk about creamy and beautiful. We have a stencil. We've got a little spatula there, and the Crafters Workshop made in the USA. Love that. And then. Here's some stencils. Do I have a white something where you can see these? Yeah, because you won't be able to see these. Let's grab this. Oops. Did I move you? Sorry about that. Okay. So let's do it like this. Ooh, I love that one. I mean, just always a good basic. Oh, look at that. Funkified. I love it, love it, love it. Ooh, what is this scribble? Well, maybe it's uh, which way does it go? So just scribble, scribble. Love that. And then leaves. These are some great stencils. And this one you could go either way. And butterflies. Those are going to be a lot of fun. Get this out of our way. Here. So the Crafters Workshop. Put that out to the side. That's a great company. Um, oh, and then one of those another little diamond dots. Uh, this is a blue crown. So you diamond dots it up. And then some more of the little candies. And then, oh, beacon, uh, not beacon, um, E6000. 
they have a new product out um, for all the details check out Aaron's video but they have a super duper E6000 there's nothing on the market like it um, it will bind uh, plastic it will bond bind uh, plastic together all kinds of things I mean, E6000 is fantastic anyway but it's super duper now um, and this is looks like Fabrifuse extreme stretch low odor permanent oh it's permanent washable clear <gasps> so this is fabric I didn't know that okay so there you go and like I said for um, the info on the the new thing that they have check out Aaron's video all right oh let's see okay so here's a couple more pens the Kitsch Flamingo and Lumberjack Plaid and these are like lapel pens you know trading pens collect them all this washi this is it's called masking tape um, I don't know how to say the name I don't want to butcher it but this is and I think I have some information in here this is the first washi tape ever this is the company that brought it um, into the world and um, anyway got a sample of that let me see here this is MT masking tape and this is life art anyway they were the first washi tape manufacturer so that's pretty cool pretty cool and I think she said it was supposed to be really uh, really tacky really um, strong as far as because you know washi tape I mean it's repositionable yes but if you want it to stay permanent you have to run it across them um, like a glue stick or something to really make it adhere so um, then oh my gosh so Sarah Clark this is I'm sure you've seen the advertisements the color cube well you know it's a big cube it looks like an Rubik a Rubik's cube <laughs> all the colors all over it and inside it has little cards you pull it out and it has colors that, that match that go together and so because I know I struggle with that I'm looking at a piece, um, whether I'm die cutting or coloring, and I'm thinking, oh, you know, I'd like it to be, you know, coral and teal, and I'm thinking, oh, these really don't match, and blah, blah, blah you know, all that. So this cube shows you the colors to put together that look fantastic. That's coming too, so I should have it pretty soon. Anyway, she also does adult coloring books. She's out of Australia. She and her husband and one of their assistants uh, came, and oh my gosh, You'll see pictures of me with with Sarah. I actually sat next to them um, at the Dina um, Wakely class that I was in. Um, and then I think oh, one of the pictures, my last video, where we're in the um, bus on the bus going. I don't know if we were going, coming or going uh, to the to Creativations, but she was photobombing in the back. She's, ah, you know, anyway, she is a hoot really a creative talented uh, kind person she and her husband both anyway and they were flying back so I think they were going from uh, New Orleans to Dallas to California and then all the way to Australia and I think they left on Thursday and then they were going to arrive on Saturday but they were going to lose Friday completely because of the time change I know that's so weird that's it. That's just crazy. But anyway, so she has adult coloring books that you can download and print off on whatever paper you want. So if you want to use your um, alcohol markers, you can print it off on uh, marker paper, watercolors, watercolor paper, um, regular paper if you want to do pencils, you know, whatever. So anyway, all kinds of stuff. Then she has these coloring stickers, 605 stickers. And so a nice little band to keep it together there. So all these are stickers that you peel off and put wherever you want are these great oh my gosh love the Mandela's and so you color them and then look you just peel them off but they're made out of the paper that you know will take the different colors different colors different inks Look at that. These are beautiful. And they come in all different kinds. There's motivational. There's um, for moms, for uh, you name it. Anyway, phenomenal. And this is Nostalgia. 
uh, to color in and decorate your planner. I was trying to see if it says, there's a sample of what's in there. And I think she said you could color them with alcohol markers. You just need to put something behind them just to make sure they don't bleed through. But there's 514 stickers in this one. I know, right? All right. Um, this is from, oh, this is from Diamond Dots. Look at that. I mean, that's heavy. That's a beautiful pen. And then Le Pen Permanent Marker Alcohol Based Ink. This is Marvi Yoshida. And then, oh, uh, this woman was, is phenomenal. I say was, is phenomenal. Um, I will link her information below. Uh, video Making Crash Course, Academy for Virtual Teaching.com. Oh, and there's the QR code. So, you know, you just take a picture of this, you know, with your camera, just put it on photo and take a picture and, and then... Um, a link will come up and you just click on it and it takes you right there. But um, anyway, we sit together and um, at one of the dinners and she is a phenomenal woman. Can't remember her name. I know I've, I made a note so I wouldn't forget, but I forgot. And, um, but I will be remembering that, you know, that's why we have, I, it was such a whirlwind and I met so many phenomenal people. Yeah. All right. So Ranger Retailer sticker. And then, oh, got another one, Lollipalooza. A little candy there. And then, let me see what I have under here. Oh, we have more pins from Ranger. So they're Salvaged Patina and Villainous Potion. Let me see. And then I have, oh, I have to show you this. So, I need to heat set this better. Or, so I was telling you about Ed with Stencil One. Oh my gosh, I love him to pieces. So this is one of his stencils. And this is on jean material. And Aaron, we did a video with Ed, um, just stencil one. So you can find that on Aaron's um, YouTube page. And uh, so he, oh, and, and she, look, ah, look, I'm so excited. I get tongue tied here. So this was a little make and take you could do. Um, and they were using, I believe, Deco, Deco Art paint and it's fabric paint. And you can, you heat set this. We actually just, you know, we, we blew it dry with a hairdryer, but you actually heat set this and it's washable and it stays just like this. But so I need, I've got to heat set it, you know, put something over it and then iron it. So it's heat set. But, um, I mean, look at the detail. That's what I couldn't get over the detail of his stencils. I mean, phenomenal. But anyway, so you can see, uh, his jacket, his jean jacket that he, uh, put a design on the back and then Aaron was, had a jean jacket and she was putting a design on hers. And she did butterflies, and she's actually going to put a few more on there. So you'll have to watch for that video later. But anyway, I love you, Ed. And then uh, we stopped by Lindy's Gang. You guys know Lindy's. So here is some um, new, what do they call them, explosion powders. And the names on these are hilarious. Let's see. Look at all that they have. These are, these are... Oh, they call them Starburst Pigment Powder Shimmer and uh, Shimmering Oh Sprays. Let's see. I was gonna find if they had these. The names of the new ones: Tilt a Wheel Teal, <laughs> Pop Rock Purple, Orange Cream Sickle. That's not the ones I was looking for, but anyway, they have phenomenal products. We have these at the store and absolutely love them. Oh, it's too small on there, but um, it has to do with uh, a three different artists that she um, <laughs> named these after. Anyway, phenomenal. So Lindy's Gang, um, check your local craft store, your mom and pop shop, uh, your art supplies for a lot of this stuff and help keep everybody in business. And then Paper Roses. Anyway, they have phenomenal products. Their paper, they have dyes, stamps, stencils. Their papers are just incredible. Their uh, push outs, their um, little die cuts. And we carry some of these in the store. Love their dyes. Oh, look at the papers. Oh my goodness. Just beautiful. And there's um, a couple of new lines that uh, just came out that you can see on Aaron's channel. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Let me put some of this stuff in there. 
So there was a company. I don't have the card here. I will insert the information. I'll have it below. But oh my gosh. I believe it was Silver Creek Leather. And so I visited with them uh, quite a bit. And then Eileen Hall, which a lot of you know if you're into um, die cutting and um, journals, little books and things. She makes the best dies. She works with Sizzix and, and does all kinds of neat stuff. Um, she was actually doing a demo with their leather and her dies and um, an embossing folder to make a little book. Very cool. And so I was visiting and um, there was a girl there that was actually cutting and shaping and coloring in uh, this leather. She had a mask like, you know, like this, but it was leaves. So it had the eyes and then it had a beautiful, oh, oh my gosh. Anyway, I'm going to put her information um, below also because she has a, let me see, where's my little book? <clears throat> she has a teaching channel. I believe. <clears throat> yes. Oh, this is one of her masks. Look at that. I mean, it is phenomenal. So anyway, you need to check her out. <clears throat> um, but anyway, so I visited with him quite a bit and I tell him I do junk journals and all that make everything from scratch. And so she gave me some, some scraps and you know, you can use these for different things and like that looks like feathers and <clears throat> this is pretty soft. This is a little thicker. That's a little thicker. Um, and I'm like, closures for junk journals. I mean, right? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So anyway, I got these and it was the last day and we were going through and kind of saying our goodbyes and everything. <clears throat> and the gentleman that was there, um, <clears throat> along with this young lady, uh, we had uh, we did the whiskey tasting together. Anyway, great guy. And I'm not going to unwrap this, but he says, hey, <laughs> you need some leather for your junk journals. And so I got a roll. I know you can't see in there, but look at this. <laughs> That's all leather inside of there. And it's like rolls of this wonderful leather. So I'll be able to emboss this, color it, and make a cover for my junk journals. I know. I mean, I always say this, the craft community is so generous and so kind and can't thank them enough. So we'll be doing that. All right, well, let me clear this off and we'll start on a little bit more. Okay, well, I didn't realize that it, this was so long. So we're gonna have a part two, all right? Um, and so I'm gonna show you my class stuff um, and some other, oh, let me just say Lisa Horton. That's all I have to say. All right, I'll see you in part two.